Hello everyone and welcome back to Midnight Violets. Today I'm just going to be sharing with you all my favourite pink lip glosses. Um, it's really really warm at the moment here in England and summer's just like oh, warm pink lip gloss, just like fresh makeup so I've got some like bright kind of fresh colour makeup on and I just wanted to share with you all my favourite pink lip glosses because today felt like a thing worth sharing. There is a mix of drugstore and a couple of um, more sort of expensive ones, but hopefully there's something in there for everyone. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. I will be showing you lip swatches, um, but stills of the lip swatches and swatches on my hand will be all on my blog, which I will link down below for you. So I'm just going to start with my first one now. The first one I've got here is this Barry M. Glossy Tube, I don't know what's going on with my bra strap here. Um, this is the Barry M Glossy Lip Tube and this one is in A11 and I think it's called Passion Pink but forgive me if I'm wrong here. Um, this one is a favourite, you can see how much I've used there, it's got a big bubble in it. This one's a favourite, not so much like to do with how it makes my lips look, it's quite like mediocre there. But it's um, not sticky and it's also um, got a really, really amazing smell to it so... I don't know, it's kind of like candy, bubblegummy, it's amazing. It's quite strong, so if you're sensitive to scents, then you probably wouldn't really like this one so much, but it's amazing, look, smell. If only they'd invented smell of vision <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to put this one on for you, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this here is the Barry M Glossy Lip Tube in number 11, Passion Pink. Um, as you can see, it's not too pigmented, it just gives like a nice shine, and also like a very subtle pink to the lips, but... It smells amazing and that's why I'm loving this one so much, so that's that one. So the next one I've got here is the Beauty UK Lip Lust and this one is in Date Night. Yep, Date Night. Um, this is a more nude kind of pink, um, but it is actually quite pigmented. So as you can see, there is a bit more colour on my lips here and it is less glossy. So this is sort of quite different to the other one. It does have a subtle smell to it which I can't quite put my finger on, but it's a very subtle one. And as you can see, it's got one of these sort of... Um, applicators to it um so i find it quite nice to apply with but it's a bit difficult sort of if you're going to be sharing and you need to be able to clean them so maybe more of a lip gloss for personal use so the next one i have again here is also by beauty uk this one is a lip vinyl so it's pretty much the same kind of formula as the lip lust except for it's a lot more pigmented so again it's not sticky and it feels really nice on the lips but as you can see a lot lot more pigmented um it is sort of debatable whether this belongs in here but it has got a gloss sort of formula to it, so regardless of it looking more like a lipstick, I'm still putting it in here because it is sort of a gloss, really. Um, and as you can see, it's really, really nice, bright pink, and it feels nice on the lips too, so loving this one. They do have a red one as well, so kind of tempted to buy that one. Um, we shall see. If it appears on my blog in the next few months, then I've bought it. If not, I probably haven't. But yeah, I really, really like these Beauty UK lip vinyls and I also really like these ones as well. These come in a lot of colours. Um, yeah, so these ones, both really like them. So the next one I've got to show you is from e.l.f. This is a Luscious Liquid Lipstick. I had to take that like three times because it's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, and this one is in Raspberry. And yes, it does say lipstick, but really, let's be fair, this is a lip gloss, isn't it? So it's got... Um, a sort of similar applicator to the Beauty UK ones and you sort of just twist it up to get the product to come out the end. Um, I've got a couple of these and actually I really like them. They've got sort of a fresh minty scent to them. On the lips they do feel like a gloss but it's a bit thicker. It's quite hard to describe but it's not like horrible like it's just different if you know what I mean. Um, again it's quite a nudie type pink so it's similar to this Beauty UK one but it's a bit deeper and mm, Possibly sort of less pink. Um, yeah, so I've really been liking this one. I've got the strawberry one as well, and I absolutely love that. It's literally got like this much left in it, and they're so cheap as well. They're like one pound fifty. So do definitely recommend these ones. Um, yeah, love that. And I'm on to my last one now. So yeah, probably been quite a short video, but my last favourite one is this Too Faced Glamour Gloss, and this one is in Barely Legal. So it's not really particularly pink, like it's got quite a lot of warm tones to it, but um, there's a bit of pink going on, and with the natural pinkness of your lips, like it does look a lot pinker. So as you can see, my lips are quite um, similar to my natural lip colour with this on. It is very sheer, and yeah, I just, 
I got this as part of a set, so like in normal price if you were to buy it individually it would be quite expensive, so I'm probably not likely to repurchase it, but now that I have it I do like use it quite a lot, and yeah, I think it's even appeared in my monthly favourites once upon a time, so that's saying something. It's got a cool little gem on the end, well, I don't know. I do like the packaging and it is a plumping lip gloss so it's got that lip injection comfort plump in it and I'll be honest it is actually like a lot nicer of a lip plump than like some of the cheaper ones you get so the e.l.f. ones, the MUA ones and the 17 ones that I've tried they're quite sort of like ooh, stingy but this one like it feels really fresh like kind of like mentholy feel on your lips so I really like the plump feel on that um, I'm not actually that fussed about having plumped lips it's just it comes with a nice colour so so yeah, they're all my favourite pink lip glosses that I've got to share with you today. I do really like all of them, like, for different reasons, obviously. Some of them are really bright, some of them are sheer, some of them are, like, nudie, some of them are plumping. Um, quite a few of them I'd apply over a lipstick as well, like a brighter pink lipstick. Um, but it depends how I'm feeling, really, to be honest. Um, but I'm not going to ramble on too much at the end of this video, um, because I'm sure you'd much rather be outside in the sunshine, like, enjoying yourself, and I'm looking... I'm looking out at the window right now and I can just see outside, but yeah, I've got to go to work in a minute, so be inside in a really, really hot, warm place, so that's going to be fun in this weather. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the sun and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything you did want me to share with you on my top picks, so I've done loads of things in the past, like green eyeshadows, spring blushes, awesome lipsticks, like red lipsticks. Um, loads of things like that, so if there is anything that you wanted to see, like however random it may seem, then do let me know, because you know, I am here to, to give you videos, so if there are things that you wanted, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye!